guys welcome back to my channel my name's Tammy I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique today is another soap challenge club challenge this is June of 2022 and this month's challenge is the uh, wood grain effect I have done this one time some number of years ago and I think it was okay when I tried it but it wasn't really great so I'm kind of excited about having a challenge that I've actually already made the you know design in the past although you know it's been so many years ago I kind of forget how I did it <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the wood grain it's it's a technique where you you flow your soap into your mold in a way that creates this wood grain pattern so for today's challenge I am going to be using teakwood and cardamom by nature's garden this has a lower percentage of usage rating I think it's like a 3.2 or a 3.3 or something like that it's fairly strong out of the bottle so I'm hoping that that's fine coming through in the soap I have a feeling it's going to be fine going down in my percentage because it's it's pretty strong <laughs> I actually had a customer that bought a wax melt she wanted this in a soap so hopefully she's watching and she will know that this is available very soon all right guys enough talk i'm going to get right into it we're going to make this teakwood and cardamom wood grain effect soap wish me luck <laughs> all right so let's take a look, quick look about what i have in my little containers this one is just a black mica it's pitch black from micas and more and this is a bit of cocoa brown but i added a little bit of black mica to it just to deepen this brown this one i wanted a bit of a lighter tone so i have this new honey blush from um nurture soap and I added just a little bit of Copper Penny from TKB just to kind of deepen the tone of that honey. It will discolor and it will accelerate trace if I, if I remember right. Maybe that's my other one. <laughs> Maybe that's the other one. I can't remember right now. I'm, I have too many soaps planned. So I am going to, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Here we go. Let's get these, uh, let me get my lye water in there. How about that? I have some kaolin clay. I forgot my sodium lactate. Let me go get my sodium lactate real quick. I am forever forgetting sodium lactate. Hang on. So you do want this batter to stay fairly fluid. And I'm, I'm just gonna be fairly careful with my stick blending. I will probably stick blend all my colors even though I did disperse them. I do have air bubbles in here. All right, let's see how much do I want? Probably that much. No more than that. Oh crap, I forgot my goat's milk. That's a really nice brown. Just, just deepening that with just a little bit of that black because I'm gonna make my main batter a light brown. So you want your batter fluid, but you want it thick enough that it's not gonna muddle. And I think par part of the problem I had when I made this before was my batter was too fluid and I had some muddling and I didn't get the nice crisp lines that I was looking for. <clears throat> and I forgot my goat's milk, guys. Good night. So I'm just going to do this. Look how chunky that gets from the freezer. So I'm definitely going to stick blend that out. I'm trying to use up all my goat's milk that I have right now because I just got a fresh batch in from a friend that now has goats. So that's exciting, being able to get it a little more locally and from a friend. I'm gonna still use my cocoa brown for in here. 
I'm going to start with that much right now and see where that gets me. It has been, I've made one soap, guys. The last challenge soap, actually, was the last soap I made. It's been weeks. And this weekend, I'm trying to make all these soaps, and we keep getting busy, and I keep getting pulled away. You know, we ran to town this morning and did a little shopping. It's just like one thing after another. I can't seem to find the time to be down here. But this is Memorial Day weekend, so I have all day, this is Sunday, so I have all day tomorrow. But we have yard work to do. <laughs> but I am taking off Tuesday. So I'm hoping between tomorrow morning and Tuesday, I will be able to get a lot of this soap done that I've planned out. And <laughs> I have enough time that if this is a disaster, maybe I could recreate it again. It's not quite at a trace. I really want it to be at a very thin trace. But let me add my fragrance oil. Good night. Guys, see, I'm I'm all out of sorts. I'm going to clean this off because I do have another soap in the works that I need this for. So let me get situated and I will be right back. All right. I'm going to pour a little bit in each one here. I am using my slow moving recipe. I did get this off the Challenge Club website. Um, I thought I had my own slow moving recipe and I realized it just wasn't as slow moving as I thought it was. <laughs> Go figure. So I started using theirs that they give you and I really like it. And actually guys, I know this is messy, but I think I am gonna transfer this into a smaller jug. Because I really wanna be able to control my colors a little bit. All right, so I am taking my cherry silicone mold and just propping it up here. And a little spot of vas Vaseline to help hold that up. Well, that didn't work <laughs> at an angle, did it? All right, I'm just gonna be pouring a little, oh, I want it on top, not. This light color is a lot looser than everything else. All right, and then you just pour it in. And then every once in a while you can Do a little jiggle. Okay. I need 
Let's keep going. All right, so this is done. Let me clean it up a little bit. This is not the top, so I'm not even gonna mess with this, other than just trying to get it nice and smooth. All right, we'll see. That might be nice, right? I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> I felt pretty good about the last month too. <laughs> so we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, guys, let's cut this wood grain we hope <laughs> let's hope this is a little odd of a color but you know in a wood maybe that's gonna be okay it almost has like a a lavendery type of vibe to it we'll see i am going to start with cutting off my quarter inch here Maybe just a little bit shy of a quarter. And this is for my two end pieces that are samples. See how that looks? That's why you can't cut it on the vertical. Okay. Which actually, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. It almost looks like a bit of a tiger stripe. Okay, so now I'm going to go three inches. All right, so then we cut it. <laughs> I always get so confused. <laughs> did I just screw this up? I think I did. I think we have to cut it this way now which is three inches, yeah? Nope, that's two and a half inches. What did I do wrong, guys? Maybe we cut it this way? <laughs> I don't... Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's over three inches. That's, that's height. What did I do wrong? Something's wrong. I don't cut it this way, because that would be vertical. I have to cut it this way. Yeah. Which, I don't know that that's right, but it almost had, that's three and a half inches. That's how tall it was. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, let's just cut it this way and see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Oh, look, that's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna cut them a little bit wider. That is just an inch and that is not a very big bar. So I'm gonna do like, this is now almost two and a half, so I'm gonna do one and a quarter. Let's cut it in half that way. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, that's honking. One and a quarter is too big. One inch is too small. Um, so I cut it this way, so I'm gonna turn it. Um, so I'm gonna go just over an inch, maybe like an inch and a quarter or a little less.
Let's do that. There we go. It's not great. I can admit that. I may have to try this again. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I, I mean, I love the design. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to down myself. Don't get mad at me. I'm not downing myself. Um, but I know there's things I need to improve on. That one's a good one. That looks wood grainy. That's a good one. All right, I'm going to get these cleaned up and then we'll look at them at the end. All right, guys, they are all cleaned and ready to go upstairs and get some pictures. So here is one. Love it. I think I, I am really happy with them. Honestly, look at that. I am super, super happy. Now, I messed up my cut and all of that stuff. And so I have this little one I just cut in half. So I'm going to have four samples and eight bars of soap instead of nine bars of soap and two samples, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just super happy with them. I, I think I did a pretty good job, right? Don't you? Ooh, that's a good sign. <laughs> so guys, I have a couple different thoughts on what I wanna do with this technique. One of them is uh, neons. I haven't used neons in a long time and, I'm, and I saw a video this week and I'm thinking, hmm, I need to make neon soap. And I think this is a perfect technique for a neon type of vibe. The other thing I wanna do, I think I wanna try to create Jupiter. <laughs> Sometimes my ideas are bigger than my skill set. <laughs> but I'm thinking that would be really fun to create Jupiter. And I don't know what made me think of this, guys. I don't even, I have no idea where that thought came from. It's not like I'm just this wonderful, like, hugely, you know, planetarium or planets and stuff. I'm not. <laughs> but I just, as soon as I saw, I, I saw something and Jupiter makes me think of wood grain. So I'm going to try Jupiter. Yeah. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing either one of those two videos and seeing how both of those ideas are going to turn out, hit that subscribe button and maybe even that notification bell. You'll know when I upload a video that way, it'll be up in your little notification bell thing. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I will actually get this done in the next week or two and we'll see how those two ideas go. Otherwise, thanks guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.